Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Body Bags. I'm Mikey Fish Horror, and I am your Friday host. Yeah, dudes. Uh, today's theme week, and it is uh, uh, horror documentaries of some sort. Uh, pretty cool little idea. Uh, my movie that I picked was Adjust Your Tracking. Yeah, dudes. So, Adjust Your Tracking is basically about... Uh, it's just uh, a little documentary about people that collect VHS tapes. And... Uh, just the life they go through, the stories that they, they have about, you know, finding VHS tapes and whatnot. Sorry, I'm a little sick. I also just got off work, can't tell. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's what it's about. Just, you know, interviews of those kind of people. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's awesome, actually. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. It's just the uh, the history of VHS tapes and whatnot, and just the love for VHS cover arts and whatnot, and just everything about it, and just really cool stories about it and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much your whole uh, documentary right there. Uh, my thoughts on this film, I love it. I've watched this thing probably like two to three times every year. I I really, really enjoy this. I got this at a, uh, it's funny that it's on DVD. I think they actually made VHS prints of this, but, you know, it's still cool. Uh, I bought this at a movie store for about ten bucks, and I think now it goes for pretty dumb money. I'm not sure. Last time I checked, it went for pretty, pretty good money. And, uh, yeah, I'm just excited that I got it. It's a two-disc collector's edition which is pretty tight look at that cover art it's sick uh but yeah no it's really sick i love the interviews that they have i really uh enjoyed uh k and j horror he's a youtube guy and uh, i just like him i like his voice and whatnot he just seems really into it and he kind of goes through his collection and picks some stuff out i really like that he's actually here on the back which is tight along with lloyd kaufman down there but yeah uh k and j horror go check him out i i liked a lot of the guys the guy in the ball pit was pretty funny uh just in general like everyone was pretty cool uh, but the thing is, you know, I collect DVD. The thing is, like, the only reason I collect DVD is because, uh, it's the closest thing to VHS, other than, like, you know, beta and whatnot, uh, when it comes to, like, you know, just movies that you're never, that are probably never going to be printed on Blu-ray. And that, granted, Blu-ray, you know, has movies that will never be on DVD and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, people are always making fun of me because I only collect DVD and no Blu-ray, but, you know, it is what it is. If I were to collect anything other than uh, DVD, it would be VHS. I, I I find myself really attracted to VHS tapes. The only reason I don't really collect them. If I find some, like, for cheap, I'll buy them. But the reason I don't collect them is because, one, it takes up way too much space. I don't have that. And, two, it's just way too expensive. They, they go for stupid money. And VHS collectors are fucking serious, man. They are so serious. I got some cool ones. Like, you know, I got a couple cool ones. Whatever. Uh, but it's nothing compared to, like, my DVD collection and whatnot, and it's definitely nothing compared to these guys' VHS collections. They got insane amounts. Uh, you got the guy that, uh, directed the Bible Belt Slasher. He's, uh, in this movie, and he has his own, uh, VHS rental store in his basement. Love that scene. That seems awesome. Uh, stuff like that. These guys are, like, hardcore, and they just really, really enjoy VHS collecting, and it's, it's just fun to watch. This movie has so much charm. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Uh, adjust your tracking, man. It's just so much fun. Uh, and also, if you get this version, I don't know if the other versions how they are, but this version has like a ton of special features of just like extra footage of the uh, interviews and whatnot, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just it's just really cool. The only thing about this is it's 120 minutes, and I I wanted more. I just I could have watched another three hours of this movie. It's so much fun, so so much fun tight dude and also when you open it, it smells good which is weird but you know it's true it's definitely true uh not much more to say it's just you know it's just talking about vhs tapes and mostly horror technically it's not just horror on here i mean it kind of is but you know they pretty much just talk about horror and obviously they have this whole like section of uh like tales from the quad dead zone because that's like the most sought after horror vhs tape and they they went on and, uh, like, talk about how much they bid for it. And, you know, one guy went up to 600-something on it. And, uh, actually, KJ Horror was like, man, that's not enough. If I had known about it at that little battle on eBay, I would have spent over $1,000 on it. That's how you know that guy's dedicated. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's crazy that people would pay that much money. I, I, I can't do it. That's why I can't do VHS, man. I was just, those guys are diehard fans, man. And I, I really love my movies, but... I can't spend that much money on a movie shit. But, uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's freaking tight. Definitely check this out if you haven't already. Yeah, adjust your tracking. Lots of fun.
Anyways, guys, yep, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's hard to rate a documentary, but, I mean, that one's one of the best I've seen, so I'm, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Hell yeah. Anyways, guys, yep, I'm Mikey Fish Horror, and I will see you guys next Friday. Later, dudes.